In this video, I'm going to cover how to get into the secret service menu for Samsung TVs. Now, the key combination that you need to press will depend on your model of TV, but for this one, it's with the TV switched off, info settings, and then mute, and then switch the TV on. You then have to wait quite a while for the TV to start up, and then the service menu comes on. So there's quite a few other possible button combinations to access this service menu that will depend on your TV model, and I've included some of those in the description of this video below. But once your TV starts up, you'll get this service menu, then that lets you switch off things like the hospitality mode, or you can switch off the uh, PWM, pulse width modulation, if you've got problems with the backlight brightness. You can also make colour changes, some really um, precise colour changes, and uh, other backlight changes. Now there's a lot of engineer settings in here, so it is possible that if you change some of the settings, then you can brick your TV, so just be careful about what you're changing, and make sure you're aware of what each item does before you change it. So there's a lot of different options in here. So you've got a factory reset here if you can't access it in the normal menu in the TV. From option and then MRT option, you can switch off Bluetooth completely, which you can't do from the main settings menu within the TV. So you've also got options related to the logo that comes on when you switch on your TV and how long that displays for. There's also under control and shop option. You've got exhibition mode and peak mode. And you want to make sure that both exhibition mode and peak mode are switched off if there's some settings that you can't access from the regular TV settings menu. You can also find information on the, the T-Con and the boards within your TV if you need to replace them. And some further settings for Bluetooth and the, the eco sensor and the like. If you're using a more recent model of Samsung TV than this, so one of the OLEDs, um, say the G8 or the G9, then you can also disable the automatic brightness limiter. So that's in control, and then there'll be a QD option menu, and then screensaver brightness, and you can switch that down to zero. If you're in the EU and you're getting the, the EU energy message coming up um, when you're changing settings, you can remove that from FMS. And then in the FMS factory menu app menu, there'll be uh, you can then go to option and then production option. And then there'll be an EU energy regulation option that you can uh, set off. You can also disable the pop-ups that you often see on the newer OLEDs. So that is within FMS, factory app menu, option, engineer option, and MRT option. And then look for uh, FMS auto launch always and switch that to uh, not supported. There's also some options to set white balance more specifically. And you can also access a more advanced level of this service menu. So go to SVC and then other setting and then Cal Data Restore and uh, press enter on it and you'll get a USB not connected error. So just press OK on that and then go back out and you'll see there's a new advanced menu has appeared at the bottom of the service menu. If you then press four zeros on your remote with this advanced menu highlighted and then it will open three additional menus. So picture 2D and then subsetting has got the PWM options in. So if you need to switch off PWM, you can just set all of those five settings to 100, and then PWM will be switched off if you're having any backlight issues. There's also further color mapping uh, and gamma settings available, although you probably don't want to change any of these. They're all um, a bit difficult to to figure out exactly what each of them does. There's also backlight and contrast and brightness settings. And eco sensor settings. But 
as I said before, if you're not really sure what each setting does, then it's best just to try and avoid pressing it because you can potentially break your TV 